All right, so welcome back to another video. We've got this question from our buddy Mason, and he's asking about dream totems. And okay, so if you're not familiar with the dream totem, if you've seen the film Inception, okay, if you haven't, great film. I'll put a link in the description because you need to watch that film. It's like lucid dreaming in a nutshell. But if you haven't seen the film Inception, they use totems to tell when they're dreaming. And essentially, a totem is like a like a small object which has specific properties. It does something. Okay, so for example, this, I don't know if you can see, this is a spinning top. Okay, and this is the quite um, common one from Inception, uh, where he, the main character will spin the, spin the spinning top in a dream. It keeps spinning, and it doesn't stop. In reality, of course, it topples. And so he'll spin this, and whether it topples or keeps spinning will tell him whether he's dreaming or not. So it's almost like a reality check, and the... Uh, the check that he does with it is whether it topples or whether it keeps spinning. And of course, each totem has different properties. So there is um, a, a loaded dice, for example, in going in Inception again, where the owner of the dice knows the exact weight of the dice and he knows where it's likely to land. So of course, when he, he throws the dice, in a dream it always lands on one number, I assume, and then in reality it's mixed numbers. Okay, so the idea of using a totem is something which I think was made popular by the film Inception, uh, particularly with this spinning top. Okay, and I want to talk about totems today. They can work. Okay, you can use totems uh, in your daily life to become lucid in a dream, because they work much the same way as reality checks do. They, they tie um, a question, okay, the question, am I dreaming? with um, an action which has different results in the dream. The problem with totems is that sometimes they have different results in the dream than you would like them to have. So for example, you could spin the top and it could topple in the dream. So the problem with, with totems, of course, is that. So they can work, but if, if you're not finding success with the totem, I would recommend just doing uh, reality checks as normal because a reality check most of the time will always work like for example if you pinch your nose and try to breathe in real life you will never be able to breathe because you're, pin you're restricting your airway in the dream you'll notice after a few seconds that you're still breathing and you're not struggling for breath or anything so you know that that reality check has worked whereas if you used a totem like a spinning top, for example, there's a high chance that it won't work the way you'd like it to. Because, of course, when you spin a spinning top, you expect it to topple. And going on what I said in earlier videos, what you expect to happen in a lucid dream will normally happen. You know, if you expect that you won't be able to fly, you're not going to be able to fly. So it's all down to expectation. Okay, so... They, totems can work, but I would suggest that you experiment for yourself. It's different for everyone. For me, they don't really work. For, for about four months or so, I tried to use a ring as a totem. So I would have, not this ring, but I, I used to have a ring with um, little wing cutouts. There was a small indent of, a, of wings. Okay, so in a dream, I would look at this ring, and then I would float. I would start to fly. The problem was that I, I overused it, and after a while, I would see the ring in my dream, as I have seen it in real life so many times when I look at my hands, and nothing would happen. So, it, it swings and roundabouts. I mean, some totems can work for some people, but sometimes they don't. So, I know this video seems like it's neither here nor there, with regards to your question, but I would say definitely try it, definitely give it a go. Pick a totem that has uh, something specific that it can do in a dream and not in real life. But then remember that it's all about expectation. So if you expect something to happen, it usually will in a dream. So the best way I would approach this is, for example, if you had a spinning top as your totem, every single time you use this totem in real life, you need to expect it to keep spinning. And this is really important. If you just spin it, okay, and just observe it, more often than not, it's going to happen in the dream, and it's going to topple over, because you expect it to happen, 
okay? You need to make sure that every single time you spin the spinning top in real life, you genuinely believe it will keep spinning. And this is the only way that totems are gonna work, really. You need to believe with all of your mind, you need to believe that it will keep spinning, and then if you're in a dream, it will keep spinning, and then you will know that you're dreaming. Okay, this is quite important. So hopefully this has answered your question. Okay, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading videos, I would say every day, but I don't know if I can stick to that because I've got a lot of other things going on. I need to maintain the website, I need to answer your questions through email. Uh, but I will do my best. I'm gonna try and record su several videos today so that I can upload seemingly every day and give you something to watch every day. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Leave a comment, leave a like, let me know your opinions, and see you in the next video.